Mars One, independent non-profit company started by Dutch entrepreneur. How do you pronounce this? Bas Landsdorp, whose mission is to found a human settlement on Mars by the year 2023. Now Mars One plans to use currently existing technologies in order to make this mission happen. And what makes this mission viable where before it wasn't is that for the colonists, it's a one-way ticket. Starting in 2016, Mars One is launching several missions to ferry supplies, food, and a Mars rover to the planet in order to find the ideal site for a permanent human settlement. In the meantime, they're also recruiting, selecting, and training applicants. This mission is going to be unlike anything ever before in human space flight. So they're not looking for just any regular old astronaut. In fact, you don't even need to be trained as an astronaut to apply. What they're looking for are resiliency, adaptability, Creativity. Curiosity. Ability to trust. And perhaps most importantly, the ability not to go absolutely insane when you realize that you're never going to set foot on the Earth again. There is a small application fee that will go towards the effort to create funding for this mission. Six billion dollars?! But a much larger source of funding will be the reality TV spectacle Mars One plans to make out of this mission. And really, who's not going to watch the colonization of Mars? The application period to be part of the first four-person team to Mars is actually closed. But Mars One plans to grow the colony by four new people every two years, so further application periods will be opening. And what does all this mean? It means that by the year 2023, we could be a two-planet species. Mmm, maybe. Or maybe this is the pipe dream it sounds like it is. Some even think it's a scam designed to collect application money, but there's little to no evidence for this. A likelier story is that the founders of Mars One are overly ambitious, underqualified, and will be unable to deliver on their promises. At the least, I expect several more delays than we've seen already. And if we do make it off the ground, all it takes is one fatal flaw to torch the entire project. One slightly off-balance colonist who just can't take the seven-month trip through nothingness in a reinforced soda can. Who took my Snickers bar? Who? One loose screw on that critical T94X whatever part. Just one more, sir. <laughs> one anything of millions of factors goes wrong that our four adventurers can't handle, and the world gets to watch as four suckers with a dream die lonely in space. But it could just be the real thing. And this could be a beautiful culmination of human effort from all across the globe, fusing together to do something that no nation could do alone. A defining moment of our generation. In the spirit of daring to reach beyond your grasp in order to better yourself and the world, I have a mission for you. Send a picture, a video, and or a written description of your completed mission to betterworld at burningquestions.com and you can make it into next week's episode. Yes, that's burning questions with V's. You guys ready? Do something you thought you may never have the guts to do. I don't care what it is. Just do something you're afraid of. Surprise yourself. It could be something big. Start a business. Climb that mountain. It could be something small. Try the tripe at that new taco stand, ask that girl out. Do something extraordinary for yourself. Like the Mars One mission, you could fail tragically. But the point is to have the courage to face your fears and accomplish your goals. Unlike Mars One, please don't kill four people and waste six billion dollars. Here we are at the Black Mist River. Now one thing I've always been afraid of doing is a gainer. For those of you who don't know a gainer, you jump forward off the cliff and do a backflip while you're moving forward through the air. Now what I've always been sort of afraid of is rotating too quickly or not jumping out far enough and hitting my head on said cliff. Rational fear? Irrational fear? I don't know. Let's find out. Uh, it's 8.30 a.m. on a November morning, by the way.
That was a horrible attempt. <laughs> well, that was the most pathetic excuse for a gator I've ever experienced or even imagined. But I'm glad I tried it, and next time when I try it in the summertime, I'll do a lot better. Alive in Oregon, this is Noah. Peace out.